Good morning, ESM. Today we'll be recognizing some of our Scholastic Art Award winners right after news and announcements. Late yesterday, the Ambassador Bridge, a crucial roadway for U.S.-Canadian trade, was reopened after authorities cleared a weekend blockage mounted by protesters unhappy about vaccine mandates. The, Do the, the Detroit International Bridge Company, the owner and operator of the overpass, said in a statement that the bridge was allowing the free flow of commerce between Can Canada and U.S. economies. Windsor, Ontario Mayor Drew Dilkins had proclaimed the end of the demonstration earlier that day. Deputy Chief of Police in the border city of Windsor echoed that declaration in an afternoon press conference after a day of cold temperatures, about 30 arrests and the seizure of five vehicles. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Yes, they're gonna hit the next two minutes of your life. Xbox. Yeah, they're here to stick around with loyal fans and some funding from a, a small little company called Microsoft. They've made iconic games such as Halo, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo 5, the one nobody cares about, and the car game. You see, mm -hmm. Xbox doesn't have all these iconic games such as Halo and Forza. So instead of just making them, they buy them. Xbox did not create, but does own Minecraft, Doom, Fallout, Skyrim, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Banjo Kazooie, Conquer, Psychonauts, Ori, and so many others is mind boggling. But you know who else has some iconic characters? Nintendo. Activision. Some games they own is Crash, Spyro, Skylanders, Call of Duty, Tony Hawk, Overwatch, Guitar Hero, World of Warcraft, Diablo, Candy itself. But you know what else Activision has? Ah! So after all that, Activision decided to look for a buyer. Their first pick actually wasn't Microsoft, but was Facebook. And it just hurts to think that Facebook and Call of Duty are in the same sentence. They eventually asked Microsoft who bought them for $70 billion in the largest gaming acquisition in history, leaving this guy with $300 million. I cry every night. This led some to think that the FTC won't even allow this deal to go through, as this would boost Xbox's market share to 10% of the entire gaming industry. But due to all their competition being foreign, I can see it just getting by. Speaking of foreign gaming companies, Sony, aka PlayStation, are very worried about Xbox right now. This Xbox actually took their two mascots away from them, which is just... How in retaliation, Sony bought out Bungie for a significantly cheaper price of $3 billion. Cheaper, yes, cheap. $3 billion. That's cheap. That means PlayStation owns Halo, so Xbox and PlayStation effectively just swapped mascots, and that is just... Why? You know, I wonder what our good friends over at Nintendo are doing. Oh my god, what? There is a senior class variety show meeting on Wednesday at the beginning of Block 2 in the auditorium. There will also be a recap meeting after school in the chorus room Wednesday at 326 for any senior who is not on campus Block 2. All right. So first up on our list of gold key winners, we've got Erin Renane with her photography piece called Tranquil Sunset. Uh, this one is actually Madison Smith's piece with her, or Madison Smith who won with her digital art piece, Double Exposure. And going down the list, we have Nadia Benhassan who won two gold keys in the glass and ceramics category with Divine Life and Masked Feelings. Uh, next up is Presley DeJulio who also won two gold keys in the painting category with Splash and the glass and ceramics category with Vessel. Madeline Grease in the Drawing and Illustrations category with Reflections. And Emma Jaquin also won in the Drawing and Illustrations category with Sour Dreams. And I'll be back with the rest of our Gold Key winners right after weather.
As you can see behind me, there's no real activity going on on the map, which means that today is going to be cloud. It's going to be a little cloudy today, but that's not going to show up on the snow and rain map. And tonight is going to have mainly clearly clear skies. Tomorrow is going to be windy, and Thursday is going to be very rainy and snowy. Today we have a high of 47 with a low of 42 degrees, and tomorrow we have a high of 57 with a low of 24 degrees. Continuing on, we've got Lizzie Phillips with two gold keys in the drawing and illustrations category with Mirage and Mania. Ariana Reed also won in the drawing and illustrations category with her piece called Obscured. Kylie Clark won in the mixed media category. Avery Durantini won in the ceramics and glass category with Dipping Tray. Laura Sicknick also won in the ceramics and glass category with The Balance of Life. And our last gold key winner is Ava Zelens in the painting category with Stingbum. I'll be right back after sports to close the show. After day 11 of the Olympics, Norway is first with 26 medals, the Russian Olympic Committee with 20 medals in second, and the U.S. cracks the top three with 17 medals. The Syracuse women's ice hockey team will be hosting the CHA conference tournament during the 24th through the 26th. After beating Mercyhurst 4-1 to make the team's first ever regular season conference title. In upcoming, the boys basketball team plays at Oswego at 6:45. Girls basketball plays at home against Oswego at 6:45, and ice hockey plays at home against Fulton at 7:30. And I'm Ellie with your sports. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to share every art piece, but The Morning Show would like to congratulate everyone who submitted their art, and we'd also like to encourage anyone currently working on art pieces to continue to work hard, and we can't wait to see what you make in next year's Scholastic Art Awards. That's all I have for all today, so from everyone here at The Morning Show, have a terrific Tuesday, and stay tuned for tomorrow's show where Owen, Chris, and Jaden become principals for a day.